this week, furries fight the fascists. And we brainstorm some brand new Barbie businesses. All this and more on the latest. And the gate. And hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're here. It's not Pride anymore, but we're still gay. Boo. Boo. Yeah, it's uh, July month, so I guess uh, it's when well, Jake gave birth to America or whatever. This is this is straight Pride month. This is this is the yeah. thing. All of y'all complaining that straights don't get a Pride month. Hello. Did you forget oh. about like? the month where red white and blue is like the only color scheme even even after independence day is straight pride month july or is it december because i feel like christmas is like straight pride month that's a fair question that is that is a very fair question i mean i the thing is christmas is like my favorite holiday so oh, really? I would hate the thing is well not because of like you know Jesus but because yeah giving in. yeah not because of Christ oh. returning or no Christ, no returning he returned on Easter right who cares <laughs> not so it didn't happen so it, there's whatever right. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> I I couldn't give less of a shit about Jesus Christa Jesus um. Christa. That sounds like a it's, fierce uh, tequila brand. Oh, she yeah, but a celebrity one. Did you hear that? Oh, um, did you hear? Oh fuck, who was it? There's another celebrity coming out with um, I can't remember who it was. I don't know if you but want. Somebody, somebody's coming out with another gin, a celebrity gin. Oh, okay, that's fine. Jojo Siwa. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Jojo Siwa would have a vodka. I think. You think if she was if she was a, a a liquor girl? Yeah, I think let's let's table that conversation. That might be an idea for a second. Ooh. But so Ooh. Celeb- matching celebrities with their like alcohol adventure. Yeah, honestly, I'm like God, there are so many more like gin brands than I thought. I like new Amsterdam gin. See, who is somebody just put out a fucking a new gin and I can't remember who it was. And I this is going to this is going to eat at me all episode long. If but not right now. It's it, honestly at this point. Here, I'll but, stall. Don't worry about it. Um so let me tell anywho, you guys about <laughs> I'll get I'm there. actually selling a uh... Tupperware. If anybody wants to buy some, I have like <laughs> two hundred dollars worth of Pyrexes. I have to sell by the end of the month, or else uh, the white women mob will behead me. Are you going to become uh, one of those Facebook those door door to door uh Tupperware sales ladies? Yes, except I live in an area where that would probably like not go over well. If you went door to door selling, uh, Tupperware. selling Tupperware. Well, first of all, I'd probably trip and like they'd fall and like shatter, and I'd fall on like a face for some glass. But like, oh um, yeah. Well, isn't Pyrex like, like, isn't Pyrex supposed to be like not as bad as regular glass? No, and they're very, they're actually very nice. I have, I have some Pyrex, and it's very yeah. Nice. Shout out I to my a, old roommate Wendy for giving me some Pyrexes. I have a Pyrex measuring cup, and that's like. I you feel like that's a necessity. Everything. Yeah. You that's like a necessity for a kitchen. If you want like good measurements, you want to get you a Pyrex measuring cup. And if but, you have bad measurements, just do whatever you feel like doing. Yeah. Just go with the flow. Yeah, honestly, baking, who need three three fourths of a teaspoon? The fuck is that? Just whatever. Just sugar, flour, yeast. Maybe throw some, you know, for shits and giggles, just like just dump everything in your spice cabinet, including the flour, oh, yeah. like just the flour, yeah. garlic powder, cinnamon, cardamom. Just do a supermarket oh. sweeps style, like <laughs> wipe of your spice cabinet and like baking cabinet. And then right just like, the bowl. don't even take it out of the container. Mm-hmm. 
glass and everything, even the cap, just and then mix it up, put it in the oven, in the bowl still. In the bowl still, yeah. And yeah. Like, go out. You just baked. You're tired. Go get yeah. you go at the bar. Come back. And then it'll out done. pops a delicious, you know, baked good. Focaccia, yeah. Yeah. That's that's how that's how focaccia is made. I actually made focaccia just, once and it was it was pretty mediocre, but I I've it. only I've only see I love focaccia, but only if it's made well. You would not like my focaccia then. Ooh. It's made very mediocrely. Medi- okay. How do you say medi- how do you how do you Medi it's 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 made very mediocre. It's just very mediocre, yeah. Okay. Like you're like, yeah, that's Fakash, I suppose. It's not like Yeah. Ooh, ooh girl. Actually See oh. the thing is though, I probably I guarantee you I could not do any better. Because oh. I don't have let me tell you. Let me tell you. Tell me. Baking is not my forte. Oh, we're in culinary school. Did you hate the baking labs? I didn't see. I was okay at it, but I literally just never like. I I couldn't do it. It wasn't my thing. I was so bad at it. Like I kept just. I, I kept just like. Every time something would go wrong, and even afterwards, whenever I tried to bake, something would just go wrong. So I just stay away from that. Mm. As like, I don't think I will ever be in your position. Like, yeah, it's I, I don't want to be in my position. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even want to be. I don't I even want to be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, I had to. They call me. I normally have Sundays off, but I had to work today, and it was like honestly mm-hmm. probably the worst thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, we're recording this later than we usually do because both yeah. of us had to re- had to work today. Boo. Uh, yeah, if someone wants to be my sugar daddy, you totally can. Honestly, if you're listening, and you want it's if, if I, you want to, what did I type out that guy that like offered to be my sugar daddy, but I had to buy Bitcoin from him first. <laughs> is he trying a bitcoin oh my god here he i'll like, say here i'll send you an nft dick pic that's actually kind of hilarious <laughs> I, I wish it were, I, I wish it were that fun he was if like only it wanna... was that simple he was like oh i have to i want to like send you money but like it's in like it's all in bitcoin you... Yeah, you have to buy bitcoin over venmo or like paypal first no nah, it's like if see... you just to a hundred, it was like a whole. It was like a whole thing. It was so stupid, and I was like, I was at the point. Like I was like, I'm so mad because this guy's actually kind of like, if you, if you're if you're even real, which I don't think he was. <laughs> it's probably a catfish. That's the thing. Well, because he wasn't catfishing me as someone that like is conventional. Like, I, you know my type. I like, I like, yeah. I, like the, I, I like the thick boys. The burly husky so, gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'm actually talking to this guy that is nothing of the sort. I should. I haven't, I haven't told you about that either. I'll tell you about it during a break or something. Oh. Um. Or not we're talking, we're not dating. Um, but just really, it's 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 complicated. Um I don't want to talk about it. Anyways. Anyways, I'll cut that out. Um Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um what were they talking about? Yeah, this guy, he like he's not conventionally attractive in my in okay. like I think in like the he's he's not like a muscle white gay. In the way that you would portray him. Yeah, but like not who I would use if I was trying to be a sugar daddy. Okay. I would say, but he was up up my alley. He like found the like, key. Like must have like done some kind of algorithm thing. But <laughs> then I realized like oh, because he sent me like, uh, this like word document looking thing that's saying like oh transfer failed. You have to deposit a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin into your Venmo, and then we can tra- do the thing. And I'm like that doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, a word doc. A word. It's what I wish. I wish I still had it. I, I wish okay. I could. Okay. See. See. Now they're doing like, they've had to do Microsoft Excel. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking Stop yeah. They they about to do like we we about to fucking do a spreadsheet up in here of like, this is our this is our sexual timeline. Um, mm-hmm. it's just you know, Bing Bang Boom. But Bing Bang Bong. Speaking of Microsoft Excel. Let's take a break. 
Let's take a break. And we are back. And now it is time to quanderize some things in a weird, weird fashion. fashion. <laughs> okay. Winner, winner. <laughs> Do the, the winner, winner, like a, chicken, chicken, dinner, dinner, dinner. It's that pause between chicken and dinner that like kind of gets me. Oh my <laughs> god! Like I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And then click like, "Oh, it's the yeah, winner, winner, Tracy. chicken, chicken, dinner." Because like that, it's such a long pause for no reason. Literally, and like, winner, chicken. It's like five seconds dinner. before you hear anything else. Yeah. Oh, and anyway. the way she, the way she never did that impersonation on uh, ever again, like no, she did brutal. <laughs> oh, what's go, what's going on? That's what she did. Oh, sorry, oh. You cut out for a second. I think it's raining, so oh. it might be a little funky. Sorry, it's probably it probably is. Anyway, it's time for queer quadres. Do 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 in the province of Ontario in Canada. It's really fun. A professor... It, sorry. No, Canada is, like, really going through it right now. Like, yeah. also, did you see that the smoke was back? I don't know if y'all got it, but, like, the smoke we was not, back. We did not... We're not getting a lot of smoke in Boston. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm not... Complaining. See, I mean, I think it's gone now, but, like, yesterday, it was there. Like, we had air quality alerts, like, all day. Hmm. So, We're anyway. Rain. I think the smoke is making us rain here, but it's not making us smoky. Yeah, we had, we had like, a, it was downpouring today mm. when, I, when I was at work. But a, uh, a professor okay. and two students were stabbed, um, according to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, they were taken to a hospital, but their injuries are not life-threatening, so they are going to be okay. Uh, the, the suspect, whose name has not been released yet, is in police custody, and charges have yet to be filed. The attack took place towards the end of a philosophy class focusing on gender issues. Police haven't committed to a motive yet, but a student said about a class's subject matter before he began attacking the students. Um, Jinming Lee told I am attacked uh, after the man asked what the class dealt with he took two knives out of a backpack and began attacking the professor and others Lee said the man was between 20 and 30 University spokesperson Nick Manning said the suspect is, quote, a member of the University of Waterloo community, but offered no further identifying information. Mm -hmm. The victim's names have not yet been released either. So I hate that that happened, but I hope for the teacher and the students that were harmed. The students, I hope the students get their tuition waived. That, yeah. That would be. See, I, I mean, I was gonna say they I, I think after I, that's like too close, but like I no, I really hope that they. I, I will joke about it. But after like, this, like some kind of thing. I was gonna say after this, the fact that they got stabbed, I think the the least that these people deserve is like couple like the rest of their tuition should be waived at least that semester very the, the, the bare really minimum that, that is the bare minimum that the school can do and the medical expenses should be covered by the school cause absolutely because you know if you get hit by a bus when you're on like school property mm -hmm. you can technically like get your full tuition they'll be like whoops if it's like if it's by a campus bus and it's on campus property you could like sue whatever school you're attending so they'll probably they'll probably be like 
sorry, Diva. Um, here's really? a little here, here's a little get out of jail free card on us. Please, uh, please I, don't please don't sue us. Looked, that's why I didn't look both ways when I crossed the street when I was in college. Yes, absolutely. But anyway, if you get are there government buses? If I get hit by a government bus, can my student loans be taken? A government <laughs> bus? I don't know what that means. Like the does Kamala have a a party bus? Oh, like you know, like the D N, like they do like traveling, like campaign, like speeches. Yeah. Like oh, like, like a like a campaign bus. I can't if if, if the Biden Harris campaign bus hits me, my student loans get forgiven. At this point, I mean, it it's the least they owe us, considering the facts. They fucking now businesses can legally discriminate against us. Boo! Yeah, yeah, get fucked, Supreme Court. So that's that's the in the the fucking. But anyway, anyway, what do you got? Ooh. That's it. No, I'm that <laughs> that's happy happy news. There we go. Happy news. Happy news. <laughs> okay, according to a BBC article by Nadine Yusuf. Uh, policy 713 in New Brunswick, Canada will make it so students cannot participate in sports correlating with their gender identity and cannot go by their preferred pronouns unless parental permission is given. Uh, this was done by uh, conservative premier uh, Blaine Higgins. Um, and a premier in Canada is basically uh, the head of government in like one of their provinces. Oh. And it was done in response to an alleged hundreds of complaints from parents. But there is no evidence these complaints even exist from the local government. So this premier was just like, and he did it by himself. He didn't do it with any kind of like, I guess, government like process. He was just like, yeah, I'm going to like take this policy that passed and I'm going to make some changes to it and just be like, yeah. I mean, I don't, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how the Canadian government works. I yeah. just thought they were like, oh, yeah. Go 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 hockey, and then go hockey, go hockey, and then things just and then like either Priyanka or Brooklyn Heights like, or I would truth and then truth be told, if we were if we're voting for a new, I mean, not that Canada needs a new prime minister, because I mean Justin's doing a fine job, but like. I would vote for I I personally would vote for Lemon. So it's gonna be a lip sync. We have, your, we have the same birthday. For your life, a four way lip sync for your life between Jimbo, Priyanka, Brooklyn Heights, and Lemon. Yes, absolutely. And I think it's gonna lip sync think... for the prime minister ship. Is that how it works? I don't know. That that's I obviously. That's how I just. That's how elections should be done from now on. Fuck debating. Let's just make yeah. like next like in twenty twenty four. Let's make DeSantis and whoever the fucking um, Democrat DeSantis, Trump. All the all the yeah all the at the at the RNC and the the DNC. All the candidates have to lip sync for their life, and that's how they determine the Republican candidate and the Democratic candidate. Well, I don't think I don't I don't know if this is like true. I I I, I, I this was announced a while ago. I don't think the DNC is holding debates. I think they're just gonna automatically do Biden Harris again. They're not holding debates. I don't think. Ah, oh, okay. Well, which like um... if you're. I, I, I wouldn't call myself a Democrat just because I fucking hate these Democrats and they're like, yeah. but like if you are like that's why I have to vote because I want my vote to matter. Or yeah. I, I want I want to stagnate the like awfulness. stagnate. If that makes sense. Yeah. I mean I'm not gonna get into uh, I mean this is the political segment, but I don't want to get too into it. Um Yeah. But no, it makes me very to. upset that they're not even like considering any other people. It feels very disrespectful and very undemocratic yeah i mean it does kind of worry me a little bit i'm not gonna lie because not a ton of people are as gung-ho for biden as they were before mm -mm. 
So, like, what if we, you know, everyone's just tired of Biden and they just fucking vote for the other guy, which could very well end up being Trump or DeSantis? I think. Or maybe, I mean, maybe not DeSantis because the Republicans aren't as keen on him anymore. I don't think. I think Biden could beat DeSantis. I do not know if Biden can beat Trump again. That's. In my opinion. Yeah, I mean it who who knows, but anyway. Um this one is actually this one's kind of fun. So Yay. according to according to the advocate, a group of gay furries have claimed responsibility for a recent series of cyber hacking attacks on various government websites in five different st- states who have enacted anti-trans legislation. The group known as SIGDSEC, uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, has attacked websites for state and local governments in Nebraska, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, South Dakota, and Texas. The group most recently leaked data from the city of Fort Worth mm-hmm. in Texas and promises to continue such hacks to call out what they see as transphobic actions of the government officials. If that's so, true, the furries are like popping off. The furries are like, it honestly, this is, see, this is what's, you know, people, people underestimate the furries. But they're out here fucking okay. like SEAL Team Six, like online fucking Honestly. Yeah, it's crazy. So Here's I'm here for, I'm here for it. I am so here for it. I will never have like I see this discourse on the internet and it makes me want to be fucking vomit. I will Ugh. not have the like what's it called when you like get off to animals? Oh, bestiality yeah the bestiality girl is gonna be part of the community yeah that's even even jokingly i don't want to see it yeah that's a no for me if the furries keep this up we might have to have a gay conference to let them be part of the i know (laughs) well i mean i'm they're already fucking at pride so at this point they're they're like the weird they're like the the weird uh half cousin Who's like at all the family reunions, but nobody really talks to. But here's the thing: if they leak the the, the Republican senators like grinders or scruffs or whatever, <laughs> we'll trade. We'll trade. You you can be well, part of the community. If, if you can you, find if you can find a Republican senator on Grinder, we'll we'll can, give you your we'll give you your gay card. We'll give you the gay card. If you can get Lindsey Graham outed as gay, <laughs> which I'm not saying this is acceptable under any other circumstances. Yeah. However, I... <laughs> we'll, have a, we'll, we'll, we'll have a meeting. At the next Antifa LGBTQ meeting, we'll have a... At the next meeting. conference. We'll, we'll... Yeah. At the next, yeah. at the next, uh, the next GNC. Um, the, if you can find Newt Gingrich's fucking scruff profile consider it just go find a notary and we'll we'll get you in there we'll get get, we yeah. gotta we gotta get it notarized um <laughs> anyway what's our Anyways. what's our final story of the day our final story of the day according to a reuters article by hyun Hy- soo yim sorry if i butchered that name um an lgbtq pride festival in south korea was pushed out of the sp- a prime spot in front of the Seoul City Hall where it normally happens to hold a youth Christian concert. CTS, uh, the group holding the concert, says they were not trying to thwart the LGBT gathering despite their vocal anti-LGBTQ rhetoric. City government did not comment on the situation. So South Korea, it's like, it's weird. It's like not, it's South, it's 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 a really strange thing because I feel like South Korean culture is very popular in leftist spaces. Yes. Um, and to for like a lot of like 
leftist people but yeah. it's actually a pretty decently conservative country it's yeah country. it's not as fierce as people make it out to be i mean the sad thing is though i would love to travel to seoul one day mm-hmm. but it's also you know like you said all this other shit's going on and like I don't know. I don't know. Me neither. But Me neither. speaking of South Korea, let's take a break. Bye. Speak. All right. Oh, now it is time to break down this week's top five pop culture pussy popping moments in everyone's favorite see pop and pop culture segment title pending let's go first up uh as some of us may already be aware uh youtuber colleen ballinger has recently (laughs) fallen prey to the the list of youtube celebrities to get canceled and in a recent turn of events the miranda sing star is getting canceled for multiple accounts of grooming some of her fans, not only through messages, but on stage during some of her Miranda shows as well. And of course, her natural response to this was instead of listening to her legal team and not speaking on the incident, she decided to play a song on her ukulele um calling these allegations quote the toxic gossip train and so on and also trying to guilt trip the viewer of the video that she posted by saying oh i didn't realize any of you were perfect needless to say it's not going well no oh my god the the amount of tiktoks by the way that i've seen on my for you page of this fucking like <laughs> the toxic oh gossip God. train the or toxic like, um... i'm not a groomer the only thing i've groomed is my two my two, my two person cats i'm not a groomer i'm just a loser who didn't know you're not supposed to talk to comments from... i don't know yeah um, i just i i i, <laughs> I saw this one I, from a tiktok i think his name's ryan star and <laughs> You know that a song it's like I'm only human after all. Yeah. He was playing that <laughs> just spinning around in it. Fucking got me. Oh my god. And another thing I saw on Twitter was um the fucking <laughs> what's it? The song's called like what like hi dot 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 or something like that. Oh I don't I I have no idea. It was it was it was that video, like it was like the thumbnail, but it was Grimace with the ukulele oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the caption was Grimace now. <laughs> not oh the grimace oh my god not uh, the grimace not the grimace shake oh my god shake. oh my god it was just it have was, you tried it have you tried the grimace good. shake yeah, I like it, yeah it's not it's not bad it's not bad i'm not uh, like live laugh loving no but it's certain it's certainly an interesting marketing choice yeah, yeah. um anyway next up dylan mulvaney has recently posted a tiktok about the wave of backlash that she received after her controversial partnership with bud light and how the company never really backed her up after the controversy she talked about how she waited around for like months for the company to say something even though they never really did and how standing up for trans people shouldn't have to be a political difference so I hate that they didn't reach out. They didn't like reach out or be like no. Hey. And but by the way, I have seen on like videos from different pride parades. I've seen people with Bud Light Pride T-shirts on. So clearly something's going on. But these people just don't feel like commenting on the whole Dylan thing. I so, hate that, and also I hate that. I think I I don't. I hate being like reactionary. I think yeah. But I think in this case, it's okay. I do not think we as queer people should be accepting or sponsoring Bud Light right now. I, I don't know. Treating either. Dylan Mulvaney. At how, this point. How do you feel about, I mean, how do you feel about Dylan as a I never, I never have Which liked also, Bud we, Light. Piss, piss water? The horse piss? No, thank you. Anyways. No, I, next up, Olivia Rodrigo has officially not only released her first single, Post Sour, 
called Vampire, but we also have a release date for her sophomore album, Guts, which will be coming out September 8th. The song Vampire is definitely in typical Olivia style, basically slamming a boy who has done her dirty. Talking about how the person sucked the life out of her, and not in a fun way, and basically left her feeling like a former shell of herself. Needless to say, it is a sad girl breakup anthem to die for. So go stream Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo out now. Next up, we finally have a teaser trailer for season two of Heartstopper. Um, now, we've gotten bits and pieces over the past few weeks, but at this point, it is like we finally get to see bits of the season. In the trailer, we get to see glimpses into Nick and Charlie's new romance uh, post coming out. The infamous trip to Paris some partying going on and lots more so who's ready uh and last but not least some exciting news in drag race land so not only have we officially gotten the cast reveal for season three of drag race down under but we also have confirmation that there will be a first ever drag race espana all-stars in a video on social media posted by Supreme Deluxe, she revealed that we will be, quote, mixing up a cocktail of queens for an all-star season of Drag Race España. <clears throat> no cast or release date has been seen yet, but nevertheless, we are very excited. Does, is the, how many seasons of España are there? I think they may have recently just wrapped three, or like the the finale for season three like just happened recently i believe if i'm not mistaken but okay anywho is there, is there enough even content there okay yeah but anywho who knows um but anyway let's take a break bye and hello we are back we're here we're doing it we're having a good time for our final segment of the episode. And today, today we are getting into the Barbie of it all again. We're back. We're back. The back with more back. Barbie. Uh, the Barbie is back. Um, oh, anyway. yes. Oh, and I finally listened to the song, by the way. Oh, I Spice and Nikki? Yeah. Barbie, thank you. <laughs> I like it. Um, it's good. I'm more excited for Charlie, truth be told. That's fair. Um, but, but anyway. the barbs will skin you alive. Um, oh, well, I look, I'm here for Ice Spice. Let's make it clear. Nikki, I have feelings about. But <laughs> anyway, what are we doing I, for our segment, Josh? I will not say positive or negative, but I have feelings. Anyways, mm -hmm. this segment, because we, uh, Alex pointed out, and I noticed as well when you pointed out that there have been a lot of Barbie collaborations recently. Oh my God, they're all over the place. All over the place. So we're going to talk about collaborations that we want to see with Barbie. Yes. And if I may, I'd like to go first because I had to have a bone to pick. I Please. Th I think the company that Barbie is owned by, Mattel, yeah. should take over Twitter. Mattel should take over Twitter. Yes, I think A, they start making money off Twitter, finally. And yeah. B, finally get rid of Oh god, like, can we, yeah. Collab. This is more of a merger. Eli <laughs> yeah. Collab. A permanent collab. Euthanize oh Elon god. Musk and Honestly. like the Mattel and uh, specifically the Barbie section of Mattel owns Yeah. Twitter. And we just turn, instead of the bird it's like the Barbie, like or give the bird like a ponytail. The ponytail, yeah, 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 and then it's a yeah. Going out. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. And all the straights and conservatives are banned. Honestly, actually, no, not all the straights, because some. Okay, all well, the okay, and conservatives, all the straight men and conservatives. Yes, absolutely. Um, but even then, there's some. Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll talk about it. But I trust Barbie. I trust Barbie. Yeah. So, do you? Okay, this one I'm actually kind of proud of. Mm -hmm. Do you remember back in the early 2000s when Heinz came out with those like colored ketchups that they did? Yeah. So, like the green and the purple and all that. Mm -hmm. I want 
a pink Heinz Barbie ketchup. And I'm not talking about the pink sauce, not talking about that. That's a whole nother thing. Mm-hmm. This is this is not pink sauce territory. Nobody even knows what the fuck the pink sauce was. Still, I don't think anybody knows what it is. And I don't, I don't think she knew what a pink sauce I don't even I don't even think she knew what it was. But because the the flavor descriptions were just so vague. And so varied. Yeah. But I like Thousand Islands, sometimes it'd be ranch. I was like girly. Yeah. I want to see like a Heinz, like literally the most neon pink like ketchup you've ever I want it to still taste like ketchup mm-hmm. but I want neon pink and I want it in like the fun bottle mm-hmm. that they had back in the 2000s I want to bring that back first of all so I want I want a I want a Heinz X Barbie collaboration I, I want that. I want to see that okay. I want like I want Barbie sauce on my hot dog mm-hmm. Actually, I'll, I'll talk about that another day. Um, oh, I I have a theory. That, not a theory, but like a, a thing I thought of that I think is really funny. But the next thing, so part of this is um, kind of like a personal want because I I've been like going out and partying and drinking, and it's just not right. getting as hard as. <laughs> so I've decided that my tequila hiatus is over, and I need to Ooh. start drinking tequila again because I learned on the Bald and Beautiful podcast that tequila is one of the few alcohols that are a stimulant and gives you energy so does it really like yes it does i I did not know this trixie said it it could be true it could be not true it could be okay but i'm choosing to believe it and miss tracy yeah yeah, yeah. when when has she ever steered us wrong i can give me a second to think about it i can tell you um (laughs) i want a um barbie x patron oh like a, a, a pink tequila a pink, te- so a pink tequila, and I figured like they could like, I don't know, like, like diet with rose petals or some gay shit like that, and like, yeah. gold schlager. Is it gonna be like, um, like pink lemonade? Is it so like pink Whitney, but with like tequila? I don't know. Like, I don't. I'm, I'm not sure about the flavor profile I want with it yet. Yeah. But I just think. The people at tequila, not the people at tequila, the people at Patron and the people at Barbie can make a very yummy, tasty pink tequila for the girls. I could, I, 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 I could see that. I could definitely, I could definitely see that one. Um, okay. <laughs> this, okay. So this one I think would be just, okay. So bear with me, bear okay. with me on this. Um, I, I'm honestly surprised this hasn't happened yet. I would love to see, I would love to see a, like, I, okay, I know Pride Month is over, Mm -hmm. but can we get a Barbie X Durex collaboration? (laughs) Like, so first off, it, the for those of you who don't know, Durex is the condom brand, and I want to see like, I I I want the first off. Not only will it'll have like a few different condom designs. One is going to be just bright pink, with the Barbie logo up at the tip. Mm-hmm. Second, is going to be barbie herself with like a ponytail like kind of drawn onto the condom okay okay and then the third is gonna be ken but i want to be and then there and then like a super secret like and then this one isn't may not necessarily be associated with the movie itself Mm -hmm. but i want to see the fucking um barbie the 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 bibble like uh like a super secret like 
it, you know how you know how like in that victorious episode with the ice cream and kesha there was like the one container that everybody was trying to find or like kind of like charlie and the chocolate factory vibes like you got to find the one with the golden ticket mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah, like yeah. a one pack one there's like one condom in a pack like in like every state that has bibble on the condom Mm, and there's 50 winners. Yeah, and whoever finds it gets, I don't know, <laughs> early tickets to the movie or something. Or they get to watch it with Margot Robbie or something. But they but they have to like, but they have to send in a picture of it like used. Like you got to use it too. Exactly. You got to put it you got to put it to use. And you can't you can't just jerk off in the corner. You have to su- submit a video. We want it we want to see like f- fucking beat to a pulp. Like oh. we want it, we want it to see like that thing's been through some hell. So use it like once or twice, just to be sure. Exactly. So please, please. Oh my god, <laughs> that's. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I just realized. Uh, I don't. I don't put that energy in the in the universe. Um. I anyway. would love a Barbie X Taco Bell. You know, oh, of course. But I don't. I don't know if I've seen a whole lot of Barbie like food things. Those yeah. Because like if Cardi B and Offsets have a fucking McDonald's meal. Oh my god! Come on. We can have. We can. We can have. We uh, can have a... that. But we can also have like a Barbie. Like also, uh, I I pick Taco Bell because Taco Bell is my favorite fast food restaurant. It is not the right. Taco Bell like in general, but like I was thinking like pink taco shell. If they could do a Dorito taco shell, they could do a pink taco shell. Of course. And I was getting those pink, those Cinnabon delights, just pink. Oh yeah. And the pink I Baja Blast that. cannot be that hard to make either. Oh come on, it's just food coloring. Yeah, exactly. Just fucking it's food. food it's just food coloring. Like that's all there is to it. So I don't. What we call? Like, oh, let's all Baja and Barbie start with the same with the B. The the Baja the the Baharbi Baharbi Blast. We'll, we'll work on it. <laughs> well we'll pitch on it. we'll pitch on it barbha i don't know the anyway yeah we don't we, we, we don't gotta like make it happen that's for the creative teams of taco bell and barbie to figure out yeah we just to, we, we're just we're, we're just we're just spitballing we're, we're getting the exactly ball exactly um i want to see a barbie x so i i would love to see a duolingo collab like imagine uh-huh. okay Imagine you go on Duolingo to do your lesson, and then instead of like the bird oh, or yeah. like the little characters that you see on Duolingo, it's Margot Robbie and like Ryan Gosling being like, "Hey, you're doing really good at learning uh, Kurdish. Good job." I don't. Alternatively, you you're. Also- d- You'll you're slaying fun. that German. You're, you're Gu- slaying Guten that German. Tag. Yeah. Um, or do you know that meme of like the the Duolingo bird like threatening people to yeah. sign in? It's that exit to Margot Robbie just being like, I know you haven't signed in today. Be warned. Like, yeah, Barbie's gonna come for you. <laughs> yeah. I noticed you didn't. You you uh your streak uh ended. And I also noticed your back door was unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, I also noticed your uh, lock combination when you were punching in your security key last night. I noticed and you I, don't have two-step verification for your bank account. It would be a shame if you're... Uh... I, I, know, I noticed that uh, your bedroom door has a little caution sign on it. Hmm. It'd be a shame if something happened to that. Something happened to yeah. I don't, I don't actually know. That's that's too far. That's gonna <laughs> anyway, I noticed you sleeping in your bed. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, um, where are we? Oh, uh, is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. So there's a little bit of precedent for this, I think, because Drag Race did a mini challenge with Hello Kitty. So yes. I think a Barbie, um, mini challenge. challenge. Oh, it would be a lot of fun, and it's kind of overdue. And they could either have uh, Vanjie or Trixie be like the guest, like 
not judge, but like speak. You know, like sometimes like people come to the workroom to give advice. Like, yeah, well, I mean, I feel like they would be doing it a disservice if it wasn't Trixie. Truth be told, but, but Trixie's so busy. But it could also be Vanjie because she yeah. did the dolls. That's true. Okay. That's true. Yeah, I could see that. Um, I okay. I would love to fucking like. Let's just go because you know how people talk about like the gmo like unnaturally like foods you know how you see fruits sometimes there are a little bit too like if a banana is a little bit too yellow for your liking mm -hmm. you're like something's up with that banana or those blueberries are a little bit too blue mm -hmm. let's just go for the jugular let's do a chiquita banana x barbie <laughs> collaboration <laughs> the people at chiquita banana fucking when they're growing their bananas just dye the seeds pink and then you'll get like pink bananas i think i'm a mar i i think i'm a marketing genius but that's just me so i mean i think i, I of the nobel peace prize but that's just me that's just me. i'll be i'll be waiting for a check in the mail from chiquita banana but i don't know you guys do your thing so thing. please please I, also like a bit like an even pinker strawberry banana smoothie makes oh sense. that would be fierce yeah i i i, I could i could live with her the the level of like nonsense we eat in America and the level of genetic <laughs> pesticides and the nastiness I think just a pink banana is not to ask for. I um, I honestly honestly yeah. I think um I would like to see this is a little a selfish again but I would love to see a Barbie X Bank of America because I want a Barbie card Barbie credit card. Barbie, a Barbie credit card on a Barbie debit card. I want Barbie checks. I want a Barbie. <laughs> I want to be looking at Barbie every time I every time I um, every time I make money moves. I want to rem remember Barbie. Every time you tap that card at the Dunkin' Drive Through. Oh my god. I want it to play the Barbie Dreamhouse theme song. Oh my god, that's like a build a bear, but your credit card, and it's like yeah, 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 yeah. That would be fierce. That's, 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 that's just in my in my wildest dreams yeah okay my last one is so this one i think i don't i don't know if this exists yet and if it doesn't so if this already exists tell me i'm wrong but i if it doesn't exist i'm genuinely surprised it hasn't i want barbie doc martens <laughs> imagine yeah, the level exactly. imagine the level of cunt you could achieve with like a two only. two inch platform doc martens in just the sparkliest neon pink you've ever seen in your life like that i i if that's not a thing already doc martens just get on it me, I will be I, I will be waiting with my credit card ready I, I, I'll, uh, I'll until like, you I'll, do I'll so. With, I'll get on the phone with Martin. I'll I'll get it. I'll get it. I will now. get on the phone with the doctor herself. With, with the doctor. <laughs> I will do it. Whatever like, it takes. The level of pussy from those oh my goodness. I would I I I, I it would change. It would ch it would change the trajectory of history. I honestly, I think that's like a timeline switching thing. Like you know, like there's like, oh, the universe where I don't know, nine eleven didn't happen. Right. It had the same level of ramifications as having the universe with the Barbie Dark Martins. I think I think that might be a little crazy, but that's what I think. You know, this it's like the equivalent of the Thanos snap. Yes. Exactly. But that's just me. But kind. Um. Anyways, our last one. So I am not a fan of fast fashion. However, I think a Barbie X H. If, if H and M can get Mugler. Oh my God. Then I, I think that we, we can we can get like a Barbie X H and M something. I would. Hello. Okay. So as an H and M gay, 
I feel like I'm qualified to speak on this subject. I would eat that shit up. Yes. I would I I shop at H&M more than I would care to admit. And I just that would that would work my pussy out so fiercely. Very fiercely. And I think just like the level of, again, not only cunt but pussy that you could serve from that would be and if if you if you could just like say, hey Mugler, you're doing you're doing another thing with H&M and yeah, honestly. That would just be mm, mm. Or oh no, let's do it just do a different designer. Um not Mugler. What's what what else could we do? Burberry. We could do Burberry. Or or Versace. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, Versa- Gucci oh, X- sorry. Gucci X H&M X Barbie. Yeah. Sorry, Donatella. It's Versace. Versace. Not Versace. It's Versace. And, okay, so to put the chair on top of this, too, when they're, like, doing the models, Detox right. is one of them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. And for funsies, maybe Carmen. Carmen Carrera. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's beautiful yeah yeah oh yeah i think we're i think she's past she wasn't like can't it's i don't know i don't really know the temperature of how people feel about carmen carrera yeah she's kind of hit or miss right now i i feel like also she hasn't been as present recently mm-hmm. so it's kind of hard to say but anyway NCAA. We hope that these companies will listen. We know. Um, we're hoping Ch- to follow through. Chiquita Banana, I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm going to call Chiquita tonight. I will call Miss Banana herself. <laughs> um, you can subscribe to Rate and Review the Latest and the Gayest on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Radio Public. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at TLATG Pod to stay up to date on all things the latest and the gayest. You can uh, find our YouTube channel to find all past and present episodes of the latest and the gayest available for free the day that they come out. And the video episode of this week's brand new episode up either every Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and you can find our link tree, which can be found in the bio of all of our socials to not only find where you can listen to the show, but you can also find some charitable organizations that we are promoting at the moment. Um, and yeah, so with that, I, I don't know what I'm going to go do, but I got it some is Barbie to buy. honestly, Honestly. So. I'm going to go order one of the 5 million different Barbie collaborations that are out there right now. I wish if I didn't, if I had any kind of financial security, that's what I'd be doing too. Honest. No, I mean, I just paid rent. So like, you think I have money right now? Even before, during and after rent, I don't have any money. It's, I was going to say that's where money does not exist. It is. Mm-mm. The limit does not exist. Goodbye. Bye.